Hello, today I'd like to do a watercolor for you. Oops, my little thing fell off my light. Um, and I used a bunch of different stamps. Let me show you. I used the watercolor wash for the background. And then I used lovely as a tree for the trees. And then I used the love what you do stamp set for the sentiment. And um, this is um, no longer going to be available in our catalog. So if this is something that you love and want, I'd suggest you get it before the 1st of June. And we still have this one, and this is brand new. So we are good to go there. So let me tell you what you will need. All right, I'll set that up there. You will need some watercolor paper. And um, this is a, a 9 by 6 but we're going to cut it way down. I'm cutting it down to three and a half by four and three quarters after I'm done um, with the watercolor wash. And it will go on this backing, which measures three and three quarters. Yes, three and three quarters by just under five inches. So four and seven eighths. And then your card, your A2 size card is eight and a half by five and a half and scored at four and one fourth. And that is about all you will need. I don't want that sentiment. Let me show you what I was working on. I did a bunch of different ones. I did it with just the tree and um, the sentiment from Layering Love, which is also a stamp set which is going out. And I just love these sayings. And uh, But I kind of um, blurred that one. And then this one, it looks like a little tree there. <laughs> it ran. So um, they don't always work out, but you can uh, adjust and you can make more than one and cut it where it fits. So we're going to work on this. All right, so first we will take our watercolor wash. And um, the inks I used were Lemon Lime Twist and Daffodil Delight. Twinkle Tide and a Soft Suede. So first we're going to use the Daffodil Delight. And I'm just going to stamp it up. Oops, I want it this way. Right. Stamp it up in the corner here. I want some yellow. And then we're going to take the Lemon Lime Twist. And we're going to stamp that in the other corner and about halfway down. So there. That'd be perfect. And then instead of taking the big one, because I don't want a lot of the um, tranquil tide, I'm going to just take a stamping spot, which is my tranquil tide. And I'm just going to put a little bit of the green across here. Do. So, and then we're going to take the soft suede and tap it in at the bottom. I need to flip it over. And make sure you just get it really good there. Right. And then what I do is I take my little spritzers and we spray away let me move that out of the way put this here and we're just going to squirt this a little so it makes it a water color and place it down right there. And let it sit for a second and pick it up. Now, you have to let this dry, obviously. And I'm going to wipe it off with a baby wipe, my stamp. So let me wipe this off. 
and we'll set my um, thing aside to dry. And I have a prepared one, which I will show you a dried one right here. And I'll clean this off better later. Just wiped it off right now. Okay. Now this was the same thing with the yellow, the lemon lime twist, the tranquil tide, and the soft sway. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take our tree from the Lovely as a Tree set. And we are going to stamp this up in Tranquil Tide. And again, we're going to, oh, I got the spritzer here. We're going to spritz, like mine the hole, and just spritz a little bit. And we're going to just stamp. And stamp. Stamp. A crooked tree. And that will probably be enough because I'm going to cut it down so um it fits. Right. Put that up. Right. And I will cut it so it's kind of straight. I stamped it crooked, but you can fix everything. Now, let's get our cutter. Oh, sorry, just whack the camera. <laughs> and we will trim. Let's see, we'll start at this side. See if we can trim it that way. Hmm, yeah. And keep it straight there. And Three and a half would be about there. Cool. And four and three fourths. Okay. So it's sort of kind of straight. But you get the picture um, of the idea of the card. Like I said, if you make a mistake, just use the other side. Um, I actually have, you know, this whole side here, plus I already stamped that one on there too, and I like that one too, so I might use that as a card as well. You can buy the um, watercolor, this is watercolor paper, um, cardstock, whatever, it's really thick and very good with the water, it absorbs the water really well. Um, so I'd suggest using watercolor paper so it doesn't buckle and bend as much as regular cardstock. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp my sentiment from um, Love What You Do. I'm going to use It's a Beautiful Day and It's a Beautiful Day right here. Put it on sit right there and grab him up. And we're going to use our embossing buddy. I'm going to stamp over this right there. Let's do it this way. There we go. And we will stamp uh, about there. Hold it for a second to let that Versamark um, go onto the card. There we go. Because you can't see it. You have to um, put your black embossing powder on. And then you will see it. Tap it off. And there is our sentiment. Let's put that up there. Cover. Now we'll have to take our heat gun. Sorry, I'm going to heat it up just a sec. There. And heat our mirror till it goes shiny. 
I don't know if you can see it going shiny. Beautiful. Right. So that's that. Let's put this stuff away. Then we will take our tranquil tie piece and I'm going to use glue, liquid glue. Happy Mother's Day to all the American mothers here watching. Um, the British Mother's Day was in March, I believe. Mothering Sunday is what they call it over there. But today is Mother's Day here in the USA. Uh, I hope you've all had a lovely day. Oops. Go further up. Good thing about liquid glue is you can move it somewhat hmm, cut this kind of small so I'm going to have to trim it even on the other side there we go I'll trim it here um, I'm a big fan of Mimi and Mimi says there are no mistakes you fix them so that uh, the only person it would know would be you but obviously Everybody that's watching this video is going to know how I fix my boobos. But that is okay. I can't be perfect. Like May May says, we don't do perfect. <laughs> but there we go. We are good to go now. It's kind of semi-even. Then we'll take our glue again. You could use some snail adhesive for... Your adhesive of choice. Oh, come on. I sat it upright. I should have left it laying down flat. There we go. There we go. There. That should do. I will have all the measurements and the instructions on my blog, which um, I will list below. You know, if you go to my website, which is a stampingnana.com, um, my blog, you can click on the blog post and uh, you'll have all the instructions for this, plus my all my other videos are on there. But that is our card for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, if you need a demonstrator, I would appreciate um, you choosing me. And I would love to earn your business. If there's anything I can help you with, you just let me know. And you have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. Good night.